Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Sponsored by SportsRadioDetroit.com. 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 Hello, Tiger fans. Back from Vegas with all your winnings. Woo. Did you love Vegas? Oh, I love Vegas. Whoa. And he loves me. <laughs> he bet. He bet. He bet. And you know what? He bet. He gave us our college I picks. went two and one. Two and one. Now, Gotta love college. Our replacement. We have like a great team. We have a he, great backup. Todd Mondesi. He went two and one. Two and one. And now you're saying, why isn't Todd Mondesi Todd? here? We, Todd is the Steve Young of the show, Todd. which is great. Having Steve Young, he's a Hall of Famer. But Nick McGree is Joe freaking Montana. And you play Montana. Touchdown, you baby. play Montana. You play you Montana. Put Steve Young on the bench. And you know who I am? Who are you? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Why are you Tom Brady? Because I'm the handsome one. <laughs> Whoa! Stein, I think you better be checked for a concussion. Okay, Tom. Anyway, so we're talking playoffs. Playoffs? 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 That's right. Playoffs. playoffs. And we got college playoffs. We got pro playoffs. But before we do that, let's do the gentleman oh, of the yes, week yes. and the scoundrel yes, of the yes, week. Yes. Let's hear the gentleman of the week. The gentleman of the week. I'm going to find him in Baltimore. The Ravens quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He passed for 179 yards. Got his team in the playoffs. Got his team, buddy. Got his team in the playoffs. He rushed for 90 yards, two touchdowns. Two touchdowns. And against no, a very game no Browns team. Against a very good Browns team. And he avoided playoff elimination. Very good, Lamar Jackson. You are. The gentleman, gentleman of the week. That's all. Now the scoundrel of the week. Who blew it? Who blew it in 17? As I said. Week 17. T- Todd Mondesi, he picked uh, the Vikings, and I tried warning him. I tried warning him. That beer's defense was racking Cousins so much. He was scared. Late in the game, it was fourth and two. They obviously had to go. He was going sideline. The coach is saying, stay in. I've never seen a quarterback so scared to play. He was scared or stupid, whichever it was. Yeah. You're the scam. You're the, he had 80 yards deep All into that the money fourth quarter. <laughs> last year they had Case Keenum, who's not a great quarterback. They made the playoffs. Right. They didn't have Cook. Now they have Cousins. Don't make the playoffs. What's going on, Cousins? I'll tell you what's going on. You're the scam. <laughs> you stink. Week. You stink. Now I'll tell you what doesn't stink. Your college pick. My college pick. And we're picks. talking. Playoffs? We're talking playoffs? 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 Playoffs! College picks! Let's go! Yeah, I'll tell you who's great is the Clemson Tigers. Some eggnog. That's, that's good, too. With rum. The Clemson Tigers take Clemson getting five points. Clemson is getting five points. Five Let points? Let me tell you, this defense, we saw the Notre Dame-Clemson game. They held great defense. Great yeah. defense. They held Notre Dame, who has a great offense, to three points. Three a points. field goal. They didn't smell the end zone, Notre Dame. And I love the Irish, but Clemson it has the defense, and they brought it. And they're going to bring it against Alabama. They, I'm sorry, Ty. They may not you win. You rolling into this one. They may not win, but they're covering the five yes. points. They're going to cover five Clemson's points. That's ridiculous. Cover. Come on, Vegas. Come on. Come one. on, Vegas. Yes. Now, that one's on Monday. So, let's back it up to Saturday. To the NFL. The NFL playoffs. I love the first game, and in the first game, I love the Indianapolis Colts getting a point and a half against the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. Or, no, against the Houston Texans. Yeah, Houston Texans. All right. He's still thinking about I'm Lamar. still thinking Jackson. about Lamar. The Indianapolis Colts have won the last four games. And Andrew Luck is in the zone. He is throwing touchdowns. Andrew Luck is going to win the game, but I take the Colts with a point and a half. Now, in Dallas... It's going to be a bang, 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 bang shootout between these two great quarterbacks, Russell Wilson and Zach Prescott. It's Take, not Zach Prescott. Is it Zach Prescott? Zach Prescott, Zach Prescott, well, Prescott and Wilson. Prescott's not it's great, but he's be, very good. It's going to be an over. Take the over 43 and a half Ezekiel points. Elliott, please. Ezekiel Elliott, Chris Carson. They have big playmakers on both offensive sides. You're telling me there's going to be less than seven touchdowns? No. I doubt it. I Take doubt the it. over 43 and a half in the Dallas-Seattle game. On Sunday, the Chargers go into Baltimore. Take the Chargers. Getting two and a half points. Take the Chargers. Phillip Rivers having a great season. Great season. His team is behind him. I believe Melvin Gordon, the running back, will be coming off an of injury. He'll be, be he'll be, he'll be playing. And the Chargers getting two and a half points. I love it. That those are my picks. 
and they are money in the bank. Money in the bank. I got three picks as well, and I'm going to drink. They, I put too much rum in this, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, a little too. Mm. Hey, never, never can have enough. But I think I did in this case. Okay. Bears, six and a half against the Eagles. Let me give you a stat. Quarterbacks against the Bears have a 72.9 rating, which means they're basically Josh Rosen. The Bears going to be beating Nick Foles. He has hot ribs. He's not mobile. The Bears are going to feast on them. Uh, Everyone keep picking okay. against the Bears. Stop it. Todd did last week. You did a few weeks ago against the Rams. Mm. And you know what? The Bears keep winning. Keep the Bears will win by more than six and a half points. All right. They will destroy the Eagles. Dallas. I agree it's going to be a high-scoring game. And Dallas is going to run the ball. They're going to throw the ball. And you know what else they're going to do? They're going to win the game by more than two points. Those the Cowboys. Seahawks have been good, but not good enough to win in Dallas. I'm slipping up in Seattle. And they're not. I'm sorry. I'm sleepless sorry. Sleepless in Seattle. You will be sleepless. Now, uh, I heard you say you like the Colts, uh, and you may have not been seeing. I was making faces behind your back. Yeah. I was doing this. I was doing this because luck. Playoff numbers stink. Okay. In the playoffs, he has nine touchdowns and 12 interceptions. And just in case you don't know, oh, that means he stinks. Get ready for him to be the scoundrel of the week next week. <laughs> They're not going to win. The Houston Texans are a good team. They're home. They're going to beat the Colts. It's a familiar opponent, though. One and a half. Familiar opponent. Good. The Texans will beat them. All right. Now, you know what you could do? You could. Don't think. Don't think. Just, Just bet. Man. I'm smarter than Vegas, and so is he. Now, when you're done betting, show Subscribe. it to your friends. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like, show Subscribe. it to your friends. Comment. Comment. Tell Comment. us what you think. Bet. Happy 2019, because we are the, the Sports, Sports Gentlemen. Gentlemen. And Uka Booka.